The ten dollars today. I guess I got to figure out some way to make some money. Uh, wearing my glasses because uh, just give my eye a break from contact lenses been bothering me. But uh, yep, yeah, just sitting around this house as you can see. It's a uh, I won't say a mess, but I moved the bed to the middle of the room. I could be closer to my uh, inverter so I could be on my phone without uh, having to sit up and down on the bed but yeah if I'm <laughs> sitting on the bed uh, with it where it normally is which is up against the wall over here um, the cord for my charger doesn't reach from the inverter all the way over there because it's my only plug-ins in this house so but yeah I'm starting Opposing Sun's reality again, um, but it's just going to be me. I might get Ashley to do some videos too and like have his life <laughs> documented and we like make a mix up, but I just want to get this started again. Um, but you know, it's just like, uh, I don't have any money right now. <laughs> Because I don't want to work for a corporation or really anybody because every time you become their bitch. And I don't want to be anybody's bitch. You know, they give you, they don't give you enough money and you have to be at their beck and call. You got to be there nine to five every fucking day. And fuck that. You fuck that. But I get really broke, you know, and... I haven't found a better way to survive. I have like my own business, quote unquote. I, my brother taught me how to paint uh, advertisements for people, you know, businesses and stuff on their windshields and not windshields on their window. <laughs> uh, and it's, I mean, you can make money, but you got to be motivated. And I'm just not that excited about doing anything. Uh, that we make money for in America, I guess. Like, I don't care about ads for more crap that people don't need. Oh, let me advertise for your business so more people will come buy more shit that we can throw and uh, all over the earth and, you know, uh, pollute it and waste our time and our whole life on materialism. I'm not real motivated to do that, but goddamn, I guess you gotta do something to have the money to survive and even do this revolution building tiny houses and whatever so i guess i'm gonna sit here and call up all the businesses around the area of my tiny house until somebody says yes come paint the window on my store and i'll give you some money and some hot wings this is ground control to a majoring Tom. I'm stepping through the door. Oh, I'm sitting in my tin can. Uh, so, I wanted to show you uh, my little stove. It's um, tea lights. There's four of them. I put them on top of a yogurt can that I cut from the bottom. It's in a little baking pan. It's a tin can or a still stainless steel uh, camping cup. And I'm trying to boil water. It takes a while. It's pretty hot. I'm just making tea. But I wanted to show you that. Lifestyles sometimes make for strange cuisine. So, uh, <laughs> usually, and, and for me, it's just because I don't have a lot of money, usually. And so I get down to a few items and I just come up with some ridiculous food item. So, right now, I got a tortilla with peanut butter. 
and about to put some walnuts and honey on in that. That actually sounds pretty good, I think. I've made some really strange shit before, like peanut butter and hot sauce sandwiches because I didn't have any jelly. And it's actually kind of good, especially if you add garlic. You know, I mean, Thai restaurants are always putting um, peanut sauce on stuff that has garlic and salty stuff and hot stuff. It's not that strange when you think about it, you know. But um, I really love nuts. I love nuts in my mouth. And uh, furthermore, I'm going to put some honey on this now. Remember that? I certainly remember that. Ooh. Uh, damn, it's been so cold in here that the honey won't even come out of this bottle. Because it's so thick. Oh my god. But, uh... Come on, honey. Honey, come on. Honey, why are you doing this? Honey, just spray. Just pour all over my nuts. Come on, honey. Please pour on my nuts. Oh, honey. I'm so glad you poured on my nuts. Oh, I love honey all over my nuts. I really do. God. Honey on my nuts. It's the best thing. Alright. So now that I have honey on my nuts, <clears throat> I'm going to put these honey covered nuts in my mouth. Mmm. Wash it down with a little evaporated milk. I could just drink normal milk. But evaporated milk is so sweet. And I made soup with it last night that actually just turned into uh, curdled milk with tomatoes and uh, mushrooms. But it kind of tasted like uh, eggs in it. So, yeah. Some of the cuisine that I eat. Here goes the tea bag. Alright, here's my bathroom. I don't know how many of you guys know that I built a bathroom out here. But it is not finished, clearly. I mean, I got the floors. I gotta build this wall here. There's a lot of shit I gotta finish here, uh, to make a long story short. Um, but, you know, here's the mirror, here's the sink. I got this wood from a... <clears throat> uh, near a dumpster. So some construction workers put it out, and it, it was for, for a sink top. So I just put some legs on it. And I put my sink in it, but obviously I have to make it fit the sink or get a different type of sink. This is my shower. It's just a Tupperware uh, bin. Uh, I got a shower curtain in there because it don't fit, so I didn't bother to hang it up. But this is the frame for the shower curtain. And also for uh, what I put for the uh, shower, which is just going to be like a flower uh, watering can or something. Um, but... <clears throat> Eventually, I'm going to put plumbing in here, um, but in the meantime, you know, I can take a shower and wash my hands. I just use water from uh, the store. This is my toilet. It's called a marine toilet. People use it on boats, you know, with no plumbing. You don't want to dump your shit in the lake, but you just uh, open this up and take a shit in it or piss in it or whatever, and I got to go dig a hole and um, bury that every week or two, and I hadn't done it in a fucking month. But, uh, oh, and so the sink, I just collect the water in a bucket, and I dump that water out, even though I haven't dumped that water out, and, uh, that's my bathroom, but, okay, so, <clears throat> I've given myself, like, a month to get this place up to par, um, I'll kind of show you what I have to do. In here, it's messy right now, this is my living space, but there's not really too much to do inside of here. There, uh, you know, I got light, like I've shown y'all before. Actually, I haven't shown y'all that. So now I got a light switch, and I got light on the roof. I mean, on the ceiling, just like a regular house. So that's uh, actually an LED car light. So it runs off just 12 volts. I save a lot of electricity that way. I don't have to go through my inverter anymore, which converts everything to 120 AC. Uh, but in this room, I mean... You know, I don't have a television or nothing, but I can charge my phone. I got light. Um, anyway, <clears throat> I know I'm forgetting something. There's got to be something I'm supposed to be doing here. But uh, it's mainly the bathroom. I need 
need to make the bathroom finish. Finish the put linoleum down on the floor. Uh, something to cover the counter on the sink with. You know, get a shower curtain. Paint. Um, put insulation in the walls. Put up some interior walls. Paint it. Blah blah blah. Here's the outside. So as you can see, I started a mural, but the paint has started to peel on the green section. And this is going to be the uh, opposing sun's um, emblem, the two suns, the two mountains. But just the one tower here, that symbolizes this tiny house, which I consider to be a tower um, <clears throat> in a symbolic way. This is the bathroom. As you can see, I still have to paint it. I put a tarp over it to cover it so people can't see it because I'm actually kind of close to some stuff out here. And um, I'll show you. I camouflaged it. This is how I get through the winter when there's no leaves to cover my house. I put leaves on it. As you can see, I lean up a bunch of trees, dead trees and stuff, and I make it blend in with the forest. I painted it brown so that nobody can really see it. And this is another side where people can see it. It's way hard to see on this side, but it's not if I didn't paint it brown and cover it with... Uh, all these leaves and sticks as you can see this is my uh, <clears throat> this is my uh, storage unit just used from scrap materials from building and uh, I put all my shit in here as you can see my kerosene heater which keeps me warm through the winter I'm not freezing in here y'all use a kerosene heater and all my bullshit all my bullshit all my tools and shit like that yeah, and like, here's my battery, you know, getting the solar power from the sun, storing it in that battery, um, I'm climbing up to the roof. These are, ooh, got a twig here, there's my three solar panels, and uh, anyway, I do want more solar power so I can have a television and an electric heater and air conditioning and stuff, and, but I mean, for this month's goal, it's just to... You know, get the bathroom functional looking better. Get the house looking better in general. Because I want to present this uh, as an idea to get out from under of being slaves to corporations and businesses and, uh, you know, capitalism gone wrong. Anyway, uh, and here's my mural. Uh, once I finish everything on the house, I'm going to finish this mural. Because why make it look better on the inside if nothing's really done? But that's the goal, and um, there's a lot to do. Um, I got to get my truck up and running. For four years, I have not had a driver's license because I'd uh, just had a view, still have a view, but that, uh, you know, I'm not really an American citizen. I don't view myself that way. Uh, I don't need an ID. I don't need a number. That's not my game. They made that up. I don't like um, men, you know, telling other men what to do and forcing them to do it by gunpoint because that's how it is. You get thrown in jail by gunpoint if you don't have a license. And it's how they keep tabs on you, you know, watch your every move. Um, but anyway, that unreasonable stance has made me have to use other people's cars and all sorts of stuff. And, uh, I just I need to get my license and my truck running so I can build more of these tiny houses and uh, get more things done. So in this month, I'm going to try to get my truck started. Uh, it was broken down. I hadn't used it for many years, more than four years. Um, and i got to get my license and stuff. So I'm going to keep making these reality shows and letting you all know how things go and um, show you the building process and just my life in general because it's bizarre and like I said maybe my brother and it's not just bizarre it's uh I'm, I'm going somewhere with this I'm not just trying to be bizarre or be a t an attention whore uh, my brother might also be making videos because he's on a similar journey so welcome back to the opposing sons reality shows